But okay. best of the best, you know what I like so much about that movie? And I even talked to the, the casting director, James Tarzia. He was telling me, you know, that your brother Philip really wanted to make sure that he surrounded himself, you know, around great actors. You know, you got Eric Roberts in there, uh, Chris Penn, which funny enough was one of Don the Dragon Wilson's, actually was Don the Dragon Wilson's best friend back in the day. He's got all okay. kinds of fun stories with Chris Penn. But yeah, that that's a good actor. And then, of course, James Earl Jones. I think Sally Kirkland. Yeah. I think that was the actress. And of course, you as the villain, which nobody else could have pulled that off because um, you guys had to have the the most epic fight scene on screen, and no actor would be able to do that, even you know, unless they had so many so many years of training. That is three unanswered points by Dehan. Amazing casting, but the reason I bring that up is because it's much more than a martial arts film. Like ESPN put it as in the top twenty best sports dramas of all time which i agree with if you give everything you've got everything with all your heart you'll be winners that i promise you you can be the best of the best you don't even have to be a fan of the martial arts to love that movie just like you don't have to uh be a fan of boxing to like rocky or karate to like karate kid it's it's one of those movies that it's more universal it's a real human story. Love it. But what was the inspiration uh, for you guys to create that? Oh, was it, was it 1975? I was like only 17 or 16 years old. And I competed in this tournament in San Francisco and I won. So then they wanted me to represent the United States and go to compete in Korea. They have this thing called Korean Olympics. And all the Koreans that live outside of Korea, they all come to Korea and they compete in this Korean Olympic event. And one of them was Taekwondo. So 1975, I'm still a kid and I'm fighting against someone who won the bronze medal the year before. So I'm up there to fight and my grandfather comes to the stadium and my grandfather was a only survivor out of 33 independent fighter and he was the only one that was still alive so when he came to the stadium the president of world taekwondo federation mr kim Woon young he got up and he gave his seat to my grandfather because my grandfather is that type of a hero so i'm fighting and this dude throws a really strong roundhouse kick that I couldn't even block and knock the wind out of me. So I go down on my knee and my coach throws a white towel onto the ring. And since I got my wind knocked out, I didn't want to lose that way. I wanted to fight and lose honorably. But when he threw the white towel, seeing my grandfather just shaking his head I was like so broken hearted because I was crying like crazy because I still wanted to fight. And so anyway, so I lose that fight. And then I'm watching rest of the Korean people fight. And this one guy, he won, but he received an ax kick on his face and he cut his face wide, really long open like this. And like he was representing army, I believe. So he goes to the First day station, they put this big old bandage on his face. And then about one hour later, he's got to fight again. So he's got this big old bandage on his face. And right before he fights, he goes to his corner with all the generals are sitting. He salutes and he goes, I will bring back victory for the army, sir. You know, <laughs> and he goes on to the ring and he fights this other guy. And right before they, they you know, fight, he just rips his bandages off. And he just goes in there to fight. And when I was watching that, I had like goosebumps, <laughs> you know? And he lost the fight, but the spirit of it, you know? So I came back to United States and I told my brother, I said, Philip, this, this thing, we, we gotta capture this thing. And I don't know how to capture it, but we gotta, I had goosebumps watching this fight, yeah. you know? And then a few years later, Philip got, to com compete in same Korean Olympic representing USA. 
And even though he's Korean, he felt like, oh, because he's from the United States, he felt some hatred towards uh, from the other Korean fighters. Mm. So he felt something there, and then he came back, and we were sitting down and talking. And at that time, 1988, 89, there was all these Kung Fu movies and martial art movies that were coming into the United States. And it was all a lot of gratuity violence, gratuity sex, drugs. It mm -hmm. didn't represent martial arts. Mm -hmm. And Philip and I wanted to really, really make something that represents true martial arts. You know? <clears throat> so that's how the best of the best story kind of came, came about. So as you notice in, in our movie, we don't have any sex, we don't have any drugs, we don't have any gratuity violence, you know, maybe a little bit in a bar fight scene. Sure, sure. You know? I didn't want to fight. All I wanted was a beer. Shit happened. But yeah, that's how Best of the Best was made. And then the, the coolest part is at the end, you remember when I gave my oh. uh, medals to my brother? Yeah. Boy, that's a tearjerker moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm supposed to deliver my line in Korean, and Sally Kirkland was supposed to translate that. But that day, Sally Kirkland wasn't feeling well. So my brother came up to me and he goes, Simon, you have to do this in broken English because Sally's not feeling well. And like, here I am, I've been practicing everything in Korean, and all of a sudden <laughs> I got to change to broken English. I was like, uh, 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 okay. So I did it in broken English and, uh, and I was really crying because it, it really got to me, you know? And then about after third or fourth take, my tears were getting dried up and I couldn't cry anymore. Mm. And then my brother came to me and he hugged me and he just said, Simon, I love you, brother. I know you could do this. And that just gave me like more energy. It just, I was just crying, you know? And, and I was able to pull this scene off. And it worked. To save my life in defeat is to earn victory and honor within. Yeah, one of the most powerful moments in martial arts movie history. Um, I mean, you know, like when you. When, <laughs> The thing like I like most about movies, they call emotion pictures, but they're really emo emotion pictures. Like you have to feel something, you know, like, yeah. you know, like a bad movie, you don't feel anything at best. Maybe you get a little entertainment, but you don't feel anything. But when you actually feel something like, oh, this is like such, this is such a human moment. Like we, we could all feel that, man. Like, I love that movie. Your your brother at the end of that, like, because you, you in the in the film you killed his brother in the tournament like when you guys were younger mm -hmm. he could have done that to you and he almost did it but but like he didn't and in as a result they even lost the tournament but then no. you know you giving him the medal at the end that, that's some powerful stuff man <laughs> yeah yeah and, and and i love my brother for that because he he came up with that idea you know and it just it was amazing how it worked and uh even though we shot that movie, what, 30, 40 years ago? I mean, I still get emails from fans and saying, you know, you're the reason why, you know, I started taking Taekwondo and things like that. So it's, it's very gratifying. Oh, for sure. What makes it so special about Best of the Best uh, franchise and Best of the Best 2? I think it's the audience. I mean, without the audience, no matter what we do or how we try, if the audience, audience doesn't uh, embrace the film, you know, we're nobody. I had a funny story to tell you. Oh, yeah, please. So I just finished working on SEAL Team. Okay. Right? And the lead actor is David Boreanaz. Do you know who that is, David? That That's the dude from... Um, Angel. A yeah, Rose. he was in so many of those shows. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah, Angel. So he's the lead actor. And he's directing this episode that I'm working on. Okay. So I get on the set and he sees me. He goes, ladies and gentlemen, this is Simon Reed. I want you guys to all know I was a PA in Best of the Best 2. Oh, really? Can you believe that? And, <laughs> and Chris Penn wanted a breakfast with some bacon in it. And this is David Boreana's story. And we were shooting somewhere near Las Vegas. And he had to go to Las Vegas to pick up his breakfast for Chris Penn. 
-hmm. And then he brought it back. But it took like one hour to get there and one hour to come back. So it was like breakfast came back cold and Chris Penn got mad at him. He was like, this is cold. I can't eat this. And he threw the breakfast back at uh, David Boreanaz. And David picked it up and, well, then you, what do you want me to do it? And he threw it back at Chris Penn. And then David Boreanaz goes, oh shit, I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> and then me, and then he said, oh, but Philip and Simon didn't fire me. So now here I am, I'm a big director and I come a long way since then. So it was, it was good to catch up with David Boreanaz. Yeah, that's funny, man.